it is looking like this might be the fourth Miami Dolphins head coach without previous experience being hired under owner Stephen Ross, and this time without offensive ties, but at least they are looking at those types now. It is still early in this search for a new head coach, and things could change. The search is having a look and feel like the Adam Gase hiring. Remember all the quarterback whisperer talk back then? It seems like we have come to that same point again. A quarterback is in place, who is talented but cannot carry a team, as is the case with most quarterback. My only hope is that experienced coaching candidates with more ties to the offensive side don't get overlooked. Having a focus on offense is important as things have gotten more tilted toward the defense, and the progress that has been made there. Younger candidates may seem to talk a good game, and possibly know football inside and out. However, the established experienced coach has been there and done that. Doug Peterson and Jim Caldwell are both candidates that have experience and are said to have helped on offense. As of now, these two are more tied to innuendo than having upcoming interviews. There are stats showing how experienced head coaches are more prevalent among NFL teams heading to the playoffs. This is not to say some young Savon coach couldn't be unearthed and turn the offense around. Things may seem dire right now, but the Miami Dolphins are still a desired destination for candidates. They have the most cap room, and a core of young upstarting players, with a defense that can be powerful at times. You would think that a replacement coach was thought of before firing the one we had. However, a complete search has to take place regardless. Are we about to go 4 for 4 when it comes to hiring a new head coach without previous head coaching experience? Or experienced ones that come from the offensive side of things? Leslie Frazier and Dan Quinn have that past experience but both come from the defensive side. Add Vance Joseph with his losing record to the mix. The offense needs to play catch up with the defense, but it is nice to see candidates with that past head coach experience getting interviewed. This doesn't seem to be the case with past hires.